The Stryker Iris Ureteral Kit helps with visual identification of the ureters during lower pelvic surgery. The catheters and emitting fibers are placed via cystoscopy prior to a surgical procedure. During the procedure, Stryker's endoscopic cameras can detect the light emitted from the fibers, showing the ureter. The following hardware is commonly used for placement of the iris ureteral catheters. Standard obturators and cystoscopy sheets, a double horn bridge, 4 mm cystoscopes with a viewing angle of 70 degrees or 30 degrees is recommended for use. Here are the steps to set up the hardware for catheterization. First, align the red dot on the obturator with the red dot on the sheet. Insert the obturator into the sheet and rotate to lock it into place. When the hardware is ready, the surgeon will insert the sheath obturator complex into the patient via the urethra. Unlock and remove the obturator from the sheath while leaving the sheath inserted into the bladder. Align the red dot on the bridge with the red dot on the sheath. Connect the bridge and rotate to lock into place. Align the scope with the bridge so that the light post is pointing opposite of the horns on the bridge. Lastly, insert the cystoscope into the bridge until it clicks into place. Each iris ureteral kit includes two six French ureteral catheters, one fiber assembly containing two light emitting fibers, two lure connectors, these provide a wider opening for fiber insertion. If you choose to attach the catheters to an adapter and urine catch bag, do not discard these lure connectors. Each catheter has insertion depth markings to help with internal placement of the catheter. The catheters have an open distal end that will facilitate and allow fluid to drain. A guide wire may also be used to assist placing the catheters. The catheters accept guide wires up to 0.038 inches. Insert one catheter into the bridge through one of the rubber ports. If there is difficulty inserting, coat the catheters with standard lubricant. Once the catheter is visible in the bladder, insert it into one of the ureteral orifices. Advance the catheter 20 centimeters. This distance is marked on the catheter with double black bands. Without removing the hardware from the bladder, insert the second catheter into the other rubber port of the bridge. Once the catheter is visible in the bladder, insert it into the other ureteral orifice. Insert the catheter into the ureter 20 centimeters, again denoted by the double black bands marked on the catheter. Next, remove the scope bridge complex from the sheath while holding the catheters and sheath in place. Finally, remove the sheath from the patient while holding the catheters in place with your other hand. Be cautious when removing the hardware to not accidentally pull out the catheters. Carefully remove the emitting fibers from the plastic casing. Insert the emitting fibers one at a time into each ureteral catheter until the stopping mechanism meets the catheter. This stop feature prevents the emitting fibers from going past the distal end of the catheter. If you have trouble inserting the catheters all the way to the stopping mechanism, mineral oil can be applied to the emitting fibers. Remove the black protective caps from the iris fiber prongs. Select iris on the light source home screen. Connect both prongs to the iris ports on the L10 or L11 light source. Press and briefly hold the touchscreen power button to toggle iris mode on and off. You will see an indicator on the screen next to each port notifying that the prong is securely fastened. 